every uh, experience that you give us, Father. Continue. To All right, you two. I'm back again, man. It's the Crip Sunday. June the 13th. But I'm in Houston now. I'm in Houston now, right, nephew? I'm in Houston, not Pasadena. But uh, I'm going to tap in again, because uh, I've been getting some comments and feedback on the Cody thing. When I was saying I didn't know that Cody was homeless. Now, I'm also hearing that... Um, they saying Cubs was on drugs. <laughs> Rumor than me, because I'm not certain. Let, let me go somewhere because this TV a little loud. But I'm going to say rumor to me, because I'm not certain. I'm not certain, but uh, what I'm going to say is this here, though, because if that is the case, If that is the case, cuz, uh, it's real. It's real. Drug addiction is real. And uh, the thing is, us older folks, we know it's addiction. But you young folks think it's fun. Y'all think it's, it's fly. Y'all think it's the shit. It's the thing to do. You know, y'all pop pills. Y'all snort dope. Y'all smoke dope. Y'all y'all do everything. Drink dope. Eat dope. Y'all do everything. You understand? Yeah. But y'all look at it as recreational, fun. It ain't affecting y'all right now because you're young. And then uh, it don't kick in until you mature and get older. Then you start having complications and issues from drug use of the past. See, the, the, the thing is, man, uh, we... Y'all, we need to get help. If you're on drugs, get some fucking help, cuz. It's not fun. It's not fly. It's addictive. It becomes habit forming. It becomes a part of your life. In some cases, it becomes a part of your fucking DNA. Drugs. And um, that that shit ain't cool, cuz. Uh, and I'm talking to you youngsters, because that's how we all start. We all start young. I started young. And, and, it, and it starts with tobacco, alcohol, marijuana, and then you go to bigger things. I went to Angel Dust, did a little acid, popped a few pills, you know. Snow some cocaine. I never shot no hair run, snowed hair run, nothing like that. I never dealt with hair run. But I dealt with cocaine. Never done crystal meth. Nothing like that. But but like I said, you know, I, I went to Mississippi in 84 and got my ass off of drugs. See, I didn't do drugs as long as my homies and shit did. I had homies go decades using drugs. You know, but uh, yeah, it, that's a serious bit. And then, then a man like Cody, he was dealing with a lot of demons because, you know, we all know the man was a killer. He admitted it. He admitted it. I admit it. You, you, you know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> the man done some horrible things in his life. That's why I was saying I hope he had made peace with his with our maker before he left here because he's responsible for a lot of stuff. You know, he had the balls to put it in a book. You know, some of his guilt, his wrong, you know, and that's the process to turning your life around. 
if you're a killer, you know, you, you got to admit that because we all started out thinking we was doing right, being soldiers, you know, within our own communities because we wasn't getting justice from the system when they was killing our friends, you know. So we took it upon ourselves to get justice for them. But in the long run, we, we realized that it, it wasn't right, you know, Two wrongs don't make a right. You know what I mean? So, if you've done it before and then you get up in your upper escalon in your age like me and Cody had, I'm 59 and Cody was 57, they say, then, you know, when you get up in some age, because you start hitting crossroads and all kinds of shit in your life. You know what I mean? So, if you're on drugs, man, and you're young and you're using drugs, I advise you to get off of it right now. You know, if you didn't experiment with it, you, you had your bat with it, you don't need it no more. You understand? I mean... We, we got enough shit killing. My nephew just tell me about GMOs and all this shit. I didn't know about that bullshit. I mean, I've seen it on packages and stores, but I wasn't tripping. I just get what the fuck I like. But now I got to look into the shit I like. Because if you got that type of bullshit in it, I don't want it, cuz. You feel me? So, shit. Bad enough, we got diseases, mother nature, bullets, and all kinds of shit killing us as it is. And then we gonna contribute to it by adding dangerous toxins into our motherfucking bodies the way we do. Well, y'all do. Popping pills, snorting dope, and can on and shit thinking that shit is cool. And don't think you have an addiction because, you you know, you're upright. You know, you still keep a little change in your pockets and this, that, and the third order. It can't be that bad. You know, I ain't selling my shit and nothing to get it and all this kind of shit. It can't be that. No, because it is that bad. You putting that shit in your body, homie. It's that fucking bad. You no, know, yeah, it ain't got you homeless. It ain't got you, you know, you know, doing shit to get it, but you're able to get it and put it in you. And, and, and that still ain't fly. It ain't nothing fly about that, cuz, at all. At all. Your body is your temple. You get it one time, you fuck it up, it's fucked up. Once you fuck your body up, it's fucked up. You understand? Your body is your temple. You gotta take care of them. You know, the, the more your heart pumps, it's, it, it slow down. Every heart only going to get so many motherfucking beats. It, it was built to just get so many. Then your, your body get old, your livers and everything start shutting down. That's how it go. You understand? When you get up in age. So, but... If, if, if you're putting toxins in your shit and you're fucking levels up and this up and that up and that up, but you don't think so because you're young, you're still strong, you're doing your thing, y'all y'all still making babies can on, don't seem like shit wrong with you. Then you get 45, 50 and you know, all this shit, start finding out you got all this bullshit, right? You're like, whoa. And you didn't realize that the drug use was a contribution to that. You understand? And then we all going to inherit it, something from one of the two sides of our DNA, meaning your mother or father. Like my my daddy's side of the family, they got cancer, um, heart, 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 and heart disease. And my mama's side of the family is diabetes and heart disease. 
So I'm bound to get one of the two. And mine is the heart disease, which run on both sides of my family. You see what I'm saying? I had a stroke. You know, my mama had diabetes. My grandmama had diabetes. Her brother had diabetes. You see what I'm saying? So, you're going to inherit something out your DNA. Cause as far as I know, out my mama blood, I, I know my niece Dominique was diagnosed with diabetes at one time. But Joanne, Jobo worked with her baby so good. Got her weight down, was do it the diet and all that shit. And after a while, the doctor told Joanne that she ain't had to take the pills no more. So Joanne, you did a great job with whatever you were doing. My, my, my Joe Bosa shit, I did what y'all told me. Y'all said, you, you know, put on a diet and walk, and they still walk today. Do they walk? So it's, it's about being healthy, man, doing the right thing. Cause take care of your bodies, man. That's your temple. You're only going to get one. One of them. And when you fuck it up, it's fucked up. You understand? So, man, I just want to address that because I, I, I was getting feedback, some comments and shit on the Cody thing, man. And then he was saying he was on drugs. I, you know, that's another thing, man. You know, get some help, you guys. It's out here. It's out here, cuz. And, and you killers, man, go talk to a psychiatrist, man. Get some help. Get some help with it. It, it ain't easy to do. Everybody deal with it. Soldiers, policemen, you know. People who was in, the, in that field who have killed, some needed help. Soldiers, cops. Gang member, I mean, needed help. Mob, my, gangsters, you know, mafia and motherfuckers. Y'all remember the Sopranos? She cubs were seeing the psychiatrist. Y you see what I'm saying? Get some fucking help, you guys. All right, on that note, man, may God bless and protect each and every last one of us from all evils because there's plenty of them here on this earth. Despite vast nations, I still suggest you cover up in public, or at least around strangers anyway. You know what I mean? And keep your distance and sanitize. On that note, man, I'm gone, man. It's the crib. I'm tapping out. One love.